Hello, good to see you. Welcome back to episode 51 of Non-League and Beyond with Weymouth FC. It's a transfer window special. It's the Premier League. Yes, it is the Premier League. It is the promised land. It's taken us a fair few seasons, but we've finally done it. We've taken Weymouth all the way to the Premier League, the big time. Let's take a look at the Sport of Profile update. So we gained 20,000 social media followers. Uh, amazing. Play attacking football. Play direct football. Play counter-attacking football. Play entertaining football. Get the better of our rivals. Yeovil Town, if you ever play against them, that always the same thing. Uh, Club Vision, same thing. Work within the wage budget. The wage budget's gone up a lot. We'll get to that in a second. And the next five years, avoid relegation from the Premier League. We're building now. We're building. We've got to try and win the Premier League and also the Champions League. And then we can tick off. Job done with Weymouth FC if we can do it. It's not going to be next season. It's going to take us a fair few seasons. But like I say, we're in the Premier League. We're in the promised land. It's taken us a while. And we finally done it. If we take a look at the squad, I ran over this in the last episode. It's a very, very small squad now. I've put the players that I want to get rid of in the under 21s. If you've not seen the last episode and how we won promotion, please go check it out. But yeah, I'll shove that out of players in the under 21s that I want to try and sell. This is it. We're going to need a big old, big old lot of players. But luckily, we've got a fair bit of money. We've got 25 million and the wage budget. We're about 232,000 under but we're minus 1 million in the overall balance of the bank. But we've got a lot of money coming in this season, so don't worry about anything. And we've got a brand new stadium that's just been finished, or it has been finished, 10,000 in the Premier League. It's a bit small, so we have to try and expand that as well. Once our overall balance goes up and we've got some money in the club, we will be able to do that. The facilities, the facilities, they're still terrible. So I will try and prove all this. I mean, adequate, average... I didn't speak about our youth intake again this season because, as per usual, it was terrible. I think I had one player that was three and a half star. Um, so, yeah, it's just absolutely appalling. So, I never normally talk about youth intakes. And hopefully one day we will get a golden generation or just maybe one good player would do. Right, that's it. It's the 7th of May. It's time to look about. And let's, uh, you will see me next time we get some players in. Or some players out. Like I say, I've got to shift some players out. Especially Forrester, who's got matched highest earner. I don't want him to match some of the players that we might have coming in from the Premier League. I don't want him to pay him 8000 to 30000 when I want to get rid of him. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Right, I will see you in a second. So there is a little bit of news. Not any transfer news, but we've been taken over. I forgot to mention this. It's been completed. Sometimes it always falls through, but this one's been completed. Uh, Tim Ward has bought the club for 27 million. He's going to flow it on the stock exchange. Is there anything other to talk about? Personal message. I want to thank you for your patience. Yep. And the rise in the 5.75 million for the club. It's a limited company now. Uh, club expectations. It's a set weight than the wage budget. Maximum one year contract for players over there. Yeah, that's fine. It's a different. Uh, Different expectations now. Maximum two-year contract for players over the age of 31. Tend to avoid relegation. And uh, less I missed that in the last last uh, um, club vision. But yeah, that's all good. That's nothing to worry about. Only maybe my contract expiring next year. Maybe the only one thing to worry about. And the transfer embargo has now been lifted. Like I said, I should have maybe started with that at the start of this uh, episode. Right, let's get to it and uh, see if we can buy any players now. So the club atmosphere is nearly hitting rock bottom. We've got a fair few players want, want a new contract, which I understand, which I do understand. But what I don't understand is I'm not going to pay you five grand to 30 grand. There's just no way. And they want they want to be a key player at the club. Whereas now we might bring in players that are going to play in their position that are going to be better than them. So I don't want to promise them something that is not realistic. So... I feel Toby Seven, Callum Wilson, Diabate, definitely Diabate, might be on the way out. So we have our first player in, Kieran Baker, coming from Leeds, costing us 475k. Uh, he's not a bad youngster. He's 21 years of age, six foot tall, can play centre backs where I want to play him. Uh, and like I say, he's very cheap and he's got some really, really good potential. The only thing I worry about him is he's got aggression. Of 19 and we already pick up a fair few red cards but he's got some really good strength some good stamina tackling as well so I think he's going to be a really really good sign and let me accept that 
he's the first player in. And that means he's on 10 grand a week. So that means Forrester gets a pay rise. So the first player we've sold is Wilkes. He's gone for 425k. He's gone to Huddersfield. He's 30 years of age now. I think that's not a bad bit of money for him. Um, Premier League is definitely going to be one step too far. He's been a very good servant and we're going to accept that. He's the first player out. So I've picked up what I'm hoping will be an absolute wonder kid. I say wonder kid, he's 22 years of age. He's a striker. He's absolutely, he looks absolutely awesome. He's got some really good determination. Let's, let's check him out now. He cost me 1.8 million, could raise to 2.1 million. Uh, 1 million is coming off the transfer budget, some installments, uh, just to try and make the 25 million that we had at the start last me. But look, he's finishing 16, composure 16, determination 18, acceleration 16. I wish his concentration would have been a little bit higher. But he looks really, really good. I'm pleased about that. Right, let's accept that. There are some players that have gone out. Let's just run over them. If I go to the transfer history. So, uh, I don't know if you saw Coyle. Coyle went to Huddersfield for 140k. Let me just bring it up just in case my face is in the way. 140k to Huddersfield. Wilkes went for 425k to Huddersfield. The theme here. And then Diabate. I've sold him. He's gone for 150k. We made a little bit of profit on him. But when I look at the seasons that he's had here, he's been here two seasons now. 18 games in the first season, there was 6.68, not the best season. Then the following season with a 6.77, only scoring one goal. And he's six foot bloody six. He should be scoring more corner goals. Yeah. So that is it for a little bit of transfer news. It is the 22nd of June. Yeah, it's, a, it's still a long way to go. I'm struggling to find really, really decent players. I could fill out the squad, no problem at all. But they're not premiership players. They're more championship players voiding relegation, where I want Premier League players to avoid relegation. Some really decent players. Right, I'll see you. Let's, should we get to the 1st of July? And then we can pick up some release players from the Premier League. Hopefully, there's some really good ones. Right, I will see you then. Uh, since you lost me, me, two more players have come in. Let's run over him. We've got Senka. I think I showed you him before from Stuttgart that I was thinking about him on the scout reports he'd come up. In the end, I bit the bullet and bought him for 1.2 million. Uh, decent left back. Decent. He's got some really good potential as well, which is what I want. Some players with some good potential. And this one was a free. Bournemouth let him go and we just brung him on a free. Like I say, a bit of a no-brainer. He's a pretty decent player. Nardini. That's how you say it. Um... It's on a lot of wages, 18000 a week. But then again, a lot of these players are on a lot of wages now because they all want new contracts now. They're in the Premier League. Finances-wise, we still got a lot, a lot of money to spend, $21 million. We're 100 k under the wage budget, so I imagine that would be shifting about a bit depending on what these wages these players want. We're $2.8 in the red, but we're still waiting for some more money to come in this season. So let's not worry about that. That should be absolutely fine. Uh, if we go to the facilities again, I know I keep showing it. Are we in the new stadium now? We are. Now it's 12,500. I must have missed it when they've changed it because I swear it was going to be 10,000. And now it's 12,500. Still a very, very small stadium. The Bob Lucas Arena now. Um, Yeah, so, and I need to improve all this, but I can't improve all this until I've got some proper money in the bank. Staff-wise, if I go to my inbox... I, I don't know if I've showed you here. Oh, yeah, I've got a search on for director of football, search on for recruitment analysis, uh, coaches. Just trying to get rid of the back background staff now, coaches wise and stuff, because they're themselves are not Premier League standard. They're not good enough to look after the players that hopefully we will come in. Right now, like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the free market and see what we can get. But before that, let's just quickly look at the team so far. So much to talk about. This so far, and I'm talking about so far because I'm hopefully we're going to have a lot more players in. Is most really the team we're going to go with this season? Savin, Senka, left back, or maybe Stewart, Fieldson, Baker, Petition, uh, Doyle, Nardini, uh, Tosillo, Kamara, Brasilia, Mendes up front, Callum Wilson on the bench, Savage, who I do like, could play Mason and Doyle, and Dwayne, another one go either side. And Kellyman, I accept a loan offer, so he looks like he's going to be out on loan. And the youngster that we bought last season for 400k now is worth 9.6 to 11.5 million. So actually, I might, I'm not going to loan him out this season, just have him on the bench, play him now and again. He's six foot four, he's a really big target man. And if I've mentioned, I think I've mentioned, if I haven't mentioned, 
change up the tactic a little bit. I put it down to balanced because now we're going to be in the Premier League, being positive or attacking. It's just I don't think it's the way forward when you've just come up. Balanced is more like it. I've, was the season preview out yet? Can we look at it? It is out a thousand to one to win the Premier League, which I'm not surprised. Uh, we're we'll looking at this seventeenth spot. That's all we're looking at. Who do they think so far is our best players at the club? Uh, Kendall Torrey is in the under twenty ones. He's on loan, so he's not even our player. And the new guy that we're just bringing. So that was a pretty decent signing, right? Now I'm going to check the free market out. So I've got to the eighteenth of August. It's the first game of the season. I've looked at the free trans market. Premier League release players, no, and not any good. But abroad, I did pick up a couple of good players. Like I say, it's the 18th of August. It's the first game of the season, which will be in the next episode. And it's a tough game as well. Last players in were Senka and Oduno uh, from Bournemouth and Stuttgart. Um, then, free transfer. Luca Di Maggio on a free. Uh, looks very, very good. Not bad price as well. 19, but well, we're paying him 19 grand, 250 pound a week. And his value is not bad at all. Free star, got a lot of potential. 24 years of age. Come from Atalanta, they let him go on the free. And like I say, looked at the free market, abroad-wise, much better than the Premier League. Josh Griffins from Norwich, the new number one keeper, £500,000. He's been knocking about a bit in the Championship, but now he's made the big time to the Premier League. Alfonso Moreira, on a free transfer, he's lacking a bit of finishing. When I say a little bit, a lot. But maybe that might might not make a difference. He still might be a cracking player. I'm sure he will be. He also was at Atalanta and we picked up on a free transfer. Uh, Kai Roberts from Reading, 1.6 million. It's a lot of money. And he, I don't like the fact there's all the arrows are going down. We have had him before on loan and now I've brought him back for 1.6 million. I've really struggled to find really, really good players. Uh, I've found good players, but not like really, really good. Harry Shearer from Man United. Uh, looks like a, a bags and bags of potential, 625k, and that's what this one's for, really, for the future. Six foot six as well. Work rate's lacking a bit, but he's got some good strength, natural vision, jumping reach. If he can actually head a, uh, we will see. Uh, then players out. Who went out? Uh, we got a load of players went out on loan, and Doherty went to Bristol City on a free transfer. Michael Dawson was mostly really the one to mention. Three million to Burnley. But this one's a weird one because we picked him up on a free and I can't see why they want to pay so much money for him. He don't look amazing. He's got some good, great, great potential. But at 19 years of age, still only a two-star current ability. Uh, three million, why not? Finances-wise, I've got a lot of money. A lot of money still to spend. We're still well under, well under the wage budget. I've adjusted that bit. Overall balance of the club is now money started coming. It's looking good. So now I can start improving the facilities at the club. Yeah, that is it. If we take a look at the best 11. So this, I would say, is my best 11. We've got Josh Griffiths, Senkar, Fieldson, Baker, Petitjan, Doyle, Nodono, Moreira, Kamara, Brasilia, and Mendes. I would say that's mostly really the best 11. A really good bench as well. Most probably Tosillo on the left, maybe. Uh, yeah, like I say, a really good bench. Even the Maggio, I really, really like him. Uh, and Savage as well. I like him as well. So it's going to be a very interesting season. If we take a look at the season preview, see if that has uh, gone up. I, I wouldn't, it hasn't. It hasn't gone up. Who are our best players? Griffiths, the goalkeeper, and Dono. Um, yeah, the opening game of the season, it's only Liverpool and then West Ham. It's going to be a tough, tough season and a long season as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next episode. It's only Liverpool.